Hey, what's up, twin? Today, I'm going to be teaching how to make a switch in Python. Yes, bro, a switch. It's for all the crash apps out there. And hey, twin, this is going to be perfect to use on your apps. And before we get into this, I'm going to let y'all know right now, we're going to be using while loops, if else statements, iteration, and more. So make sure y'all lock in right now, bro. So boom, the first thing you got to do is learn how to unload the clip. And I'm going to show y'all two different ways to do it using a while loop. So we have ammo is equal to 17, and that means we have 17 bullets. Then we have our while loop, which is while ammo is greater than or equal to zero. Then we have print fo, fo, ammo, and we're gonna print the ammo there. And we have ammo minus equal to one. And I'm gonna tell you what this means. So we have 17 bullets. And as long as 17 is higher than zero, that means this program is gonna keep on running. Then every time we run it, we have ammo minus equal to one. What that means is we're gonna count down from 17 all the way to zero. Then once we get to zero, the program stops because ammo greater than or equal to zero is no longer true. All right, twin, now we're gonna add import time. What this is doing, it's like our trigger figure. Fall, fall, fall. So every 0 0.5 seconds, we're gonna pull the trigger. Hey, watch out with this method. This message right here is dangerous, bro. This is the infinite switch right here. So we got import time again. Then we got ammo is equal to 17. And you see, we changed the while statement to while true. So we go in this while statement, we're going to print out our ammo with the countdown, basically. Then if, if ammo is greater than zero, we're going to count down from 17 to zero again. Then we have time.sleep because that's our trigger figure right there. Then we have else is equal to 17 because we have to reset the value back to 17 to get back to a full mag. And you see, bro, I warned you. I told you, you gotta watch out with this method. This one right here is dangerous, bro. You see how it kept on going like, bro, that's a switch, bro. So you have to make sure you put a break statement or this is gonna go on forever, bro. And you don't know what you're gonna hit. Spraying with this thing, bro. So remember, when you do this method and you have while true, make sure you add a break statement. Then we're gonna add a little print reload in there to show you how we reload the clip. For this next step, remember, this is not Call of Duty Zombies. We cannot pick up an infinite ammo. So we're going to create the variable clips, and we're going to make it equal to zero. Then now, all we got to do is go down to our else statement, and we're going to add clips plus equal one. And what this is doing is going to count up the clips that we have. Then under that, we're going to add an if statement. If clips is greater than or equal to three, then we're going to break. So that means we're out of ammo. We're just going to stop the program. I put three in that if statement because I'm only a level 10 YN, bro. I only got three clips. If you want them level 50, level 100 YNs, bro, you can change that number to how much clips you have. I don't want no smoke with you, bro. No smoke. Now we're going to run it again, and we're going to let that clip blow. I changed time that I sleep to 0 0.1 because I got at least switch, and I slash that in so it looks a little bit better when it prints out. It adds a little, a little gap in there, a little space. And when we run it again, we got the... Matter of fact, ignore what I said earlier. We're going to remove this break statement. We're going to have an infinite switch, bro. <laughs> so what did we learn from this twin? The first thing is we learned what the while loop was, and we learned that you need a break statement if you use while true because it's going to be an infinite loop, bro. We don't want no infinite loops. Then we learn what import time does. We learn if else. And yeah, bro.